Velo. Yeah, I was gonna do ATV Off-Road Fury, but, uh... No, I guess that's not happening. Fate was against it. <laughs> Yo, golf. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful. Uh, ATV Off Road Fury is apparently too scratched, so I can't. Much as I would love to, it ain't happening. So I'll have to emulate it. <laughs> Thank you, Golf. Thank you for gifting us up to Velo. Oh, Muzz, did you see the emote? It's not exactly a new, new one, but it's basically new. Derek, thank you. <clears throat> this is Vortex. The other day, I caught up on all of the Vortex strats. <laughs> it's not serious Vortex. I'm not going for PB attempts. I just feel like doing a run of it. That was a good entrance. Hey, Basti. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, um... Hold on. <laughs> no. This is probably gonna take a bit. Um... I was trying the Nasty's Homeworld Wall Glide that CFG was into. Yeah. Uh, and while doing that, I was spending every life going... Uh, trying Rat Proxy once and then trying the Wall Glide once. And in doing that, I got Rat Proxy for the first time. Hey, Chloe. Um, and then after that, I figured, like, hey, you know, I should catch up on all the other strats that have been found or made easier since I really played. I'm just gonna do this now. What? <laughs> really thought the shepherd would hit me. That's way too far over. Yeah, I've just completely lost muscle memory for this trick. Hold on a second. I remember there being a point in the ground that I could see... I'm gonna say it's like right there. Okay. That's too far over. That's not what I wanted. Charged too close. What's going on with you, Chloe? I feel like it's been a bit since I've seen your stream. Ah, that was close. Now, it's like right about he not there, because clearly the shepherd can't even hit me there. It's like here is what I want. Hey, Pepsi. Oh, why did I turn so soon? I was not thinking. God, I need milk. I need milk so I can do milk and cookies. That's, again, so close. I was gonna go to the store today, but, uh... <laughs> I just got tired instead. That's, again, way too far over. But it works.
No, Manly, I'm not doing the Vortex races. This is just a run for fun, because I want to do it. Vortex is fun to come back to every once in a while just to do all the tricks. I... <laughs> I'm not doing the races. Nice. I don't know, I... I've been thinking about what I want out of Vortex again. Um... I... This is not cheat percent. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, we're doing a bit of a wild route here. Nasty's world first. Um... But yeah, I I don't know. I've thought about trying to beat my PB on PS1, just for the sake of having my Spyro runs on PS1. But I've also stopped caring quite as much about that, about having so many of my runs on PS1 ever since I switched to PS2 for Crash 1. Uh, yeah, gross. Um... So then I was thinking, like, well, do I want to just get another good PB on PS2, update my strats, get something I'm happy with? And I don't know that I care. Like, I'm probably not going to go for world record again. Even if I did get world record in it, I don't know that that would bring me a lot of joy. I don't feel like... I don't feel like I- oh, god damn it. <laughs> um, what am I trying to say? I don't feel like I- oh, also, this is a level we'll be in for a while. <laughs> Get ready. Um, yeah. I don't feel like I need to have a good Vortex time to be somewhat close to the Vortex community. Um... Like, the people in the Vortex community that... God damn it. <laughs> that I care about talking to occasionally, I can just check into their streams and talk to them. It's not like I need to be actively playing Vortex to do that. So yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm happy to just leave this as a category I, I pull out sometime when I'm bored. And just not worry about it too much other than that. Just a bit too hard there. I know, Muzz. I'm a shameful speedrunner. Just a little bit too too tight there. Uh, Manly, I've done 120% vortex before. It's called True Vortex, and it's on the Category Extensions Google Doc. I want to say Lucia ran it once too, maybe a few times, but yeah, I've done that before. <clears throat> yeah, because it answers the meme -y question, what if we went through all the vortexes? So yeah, I did a 120 run where I rerouted to leave every level through the vortex. <laughs> oh, oh, almost, almost saved that. Good flop. Yeah, I keep finding that happens, where someone's like, 
why isn't this a category? And I'm like, it is, it's on the category extension spreadsheet. I don't know, why doesn't anybody check that anymore? <laughs> I say anymore as if anybody other than me and Lucia checked it. It's not like it was ever actually a popular resource. Although, I mean, it was helpful in setting up the Category Extensions SRC page, at least. Go for it, Manly. I would love to see that. God, I just keep flopping immediately. Ah. Yeah, like I said, I'll be here a while. Oh! Oh, so close. Way too hard, the right there. Again, I know I was just too far right. You have to stay a little bit to the left at the start of riding up the wall or else you bonk early like that. Which is part of the reason that this is so difficult, because you need to, like, start left and then go hard right. But not so hard right that you immediately flop when you start the wall glide, and... <laughs> yeah, it's just a combination of stuff to remember. again. I love this trick. This one is so much fun. And it is still wild to me that this is in the old any percent tasks. Like, I'm pretty sure that task didn't even have T and teamwork. Oh, so close. That was way more than enough height, I just... Ah. Just flopped immediately. It happens. So close, so close. I am really happy with how often I am getting close on these. Because usually what happens when I start trying this again is nothing is close, and then eventually, after like a hundred lives, I get it. But most of these are really close. really, really firms up my belief that this is learnable and improvable and something that will eventually just be in the run. 
It's gonna suck since this is right at the end. Unless, of course, you do the early nasties world route like I am. Yeah, I think I'm just holding left just barely too long there. Because I keep flopping in the same place right there. I think if I just, like, tap right a little bit, I might just be good. Oh, well, not like that. Hey, J-Ro. Oop, uh, oh, oh well. Have a good night, J-Ro. Thank you for stopping by for a minute. Oh, too low again. And I keep tapping right when I shouldn't have right as the wall glide starts. Maybe I need to work on that, too. Also, a lot of these are just not amazing supercharges. They're not terrible, but, like, they're really not the best. keeps naming the liquids in this game after various drinks. There it is! Hey, we got it. I don't know what the Twilight Harbor one is. I don't know what most of them are, actually. I think when it's blue stuff, people call it Baja Blast. Okay, well that was fun. We'll come back for Nasty later. Uh, we can go to Beast Makers, I guess. Do the bee stream magic piece route. Then come back and end on nasty. <laughs> now this is actually going to be the trick that I'm really, really not sure about. <laughs> bug yeah, bug yeah. So yeah, get ready for like an hour of this. We'll we'll see how it goes. It has been a while since I've done that. I think the last time I did this was back when this was found, basically. Which idea, Pepsi? The s'mores idea? No, that wasn't on stream, you just said it on stream.
What? I don't know what idea you're talking about. Idea related to what? Actually, Golf, we talked about doing s'mores at the N++ tournament with, uh... By just building a campfire in the middle of Larg's living room. Just like on his couch or something. Many ways to make an ideal story pasta. I said... What was it I said? Was it about fingers? And I said, I am pissed? Amazing. That, okay. <gasps> Ooh! Let's go. Never mind, we're not here for an hour. Let's freaking go. It only took like four minutes. Well, that's going to make the rest of this run much easier. <laughs> what? What? Where was my flame? <laughs> Robbed. Dang. Let's try this once, too. Well, well, oh well. That didn't really work. I was trying to jump on the edge of the water, like I do in the TAS. One time, I got two of those jumps in a row, RTA. And I'm not sure I've gotten one since. That's not gonna work. That's not even close. That was almost it. This is a lot easier when you respawn from death, as opposed to flying in the level. Which is why I go for this in all the tricks attempts. That's not going to be it. Not getting much of a squeeze out of that. Oh, that was almost it. If I had charged better, that would have been it. There it is. And jump low off the side of the ramp so you don't get slowed down in the air very much. You can go straight forward instead of doing a big arc up over to the vortex. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, this is another one of the new ones. New trick that I only did for the first time the other day. And actually, of the new tricks, this is... This was the hardest one for me to get. And I've still only done it the once. Right, yeah. Basically, uh, with these rolling enemies, 
uh, they can, their hitboxes are funky and can flop you into the air if you're, like, gliding above them. And I want a really big flop. I haven't really made much of any effort to, like, study this. I just saw people do it once a while ago. Damn it. Um. Yeah, okay. I was hoping to get fodder and then give an, uh, an attempt at it, but nah. Oh, come on. I mean, maybe, but I'd rather just do the things than study right now. I think I need to be starting my jump sooner. Full collision is cool, right? Well, it is to nearly every gamer, but what if the tips had no collision? What if gamers were to rise together to an actual cause that mattered, instead of which submission submissive beta Bowser Cuck you are but instead that all goddamn fingers should have collision tips and all I'm so mad according to one such gamer Zando Toaster please like and share with as many people as you can no I don't have a thing for fingers Kevin thank you Pepsi uh, I also like this trick because this can be used in fuck this can be used in 120 uh, also to get up to those gems just a moment sooner I don't know if it's fast in 120 but I think it's hilarious Oh, I... Damn it. <laughs> I really can't do that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Muzz. I haven't tried. Maybe. <laughs> nice. Uh. Where Mike? That's closer. Yeah, I definitely need to be starting the glide sooner. I think I want to be, like, just a little bit above it when... Yeah, like, that was a pretty high one. That was a decently high one, anyway. That was close. I need to get way up there, though. <clears throat> Like, I, I was wondering for a while when I was trying it out just how high I had to be. Hey, Dale. Thank you. Nope. And yeah, you, you really need to get launched high up. Dale, I did Rat Proxy for the first time the other day. I finally got around to actually getting it once. No, I, I, I'm doing that thing that happens sometimes when you're trying to learn a trick where I have my muscle memory set to doing the wrong thing and so I get up to the part where I do the thing and then I just do it wrong in the same way again you do muzz get on that It's fine, we'll get it eventually. I th think this is the trick that I'm most worried about how long it's gonna take me. Biscuit Blast was, but this one is gonna be... 
harder, at least compared to everything I have left. No, that's not quite high enough. See what I mean about just how high you have to be? That wasn't high enough. Good corner. Beautiful magic stairs. Is that it? That's it. There we go. Cool. We got it. <laughs> Let's go. Dang, I wonder if I can finish in under an hour. That'd be wild. I wonder if the leaderboard mods would be mad if I just removed all of my vortex times and then submitted one of my all the tricks runs. What? Excuse me, supercharge ramp? God damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at that last jump. I don't know what it is. Other runners seem to have gotten a... That was terrible. Other runners seem to have gotten a much better grasp of that than I ever did. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing wrong. Wonal, thank you. There it is. <laughs> Waffle. Ghostly. Wonal got sub two hour vortex. Tex. Deezy. <laughs> no, I think I can sub one. Uh, I'm just doing a uh, vortex all the tricks run. So far, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done that isn't just normal for Vortex runs now? I was about to say Dog Proxy, but like, no, that's just, that's kind of expected of people. That was really bad. I was so far to the right. What? I, I thought I had run around it. Damn it. 
Um, I'm not coming back to Vortex, I'm just doing it for fun. Yes, I'm doing the Nasty's World first route, because I accidentally menued there initially. I did the Twilight Harbor task strat. Uh, I did Biscuit Blast, I did Bowling. Uh, that was not very good, I was pointed super far to the left there. Um, I did the Treetops Jump. I did... I almost did this just now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just going for all the tricks. Dang, I used to have better timing on this. It's almost like when you don't play a category for a stupid long time, you lose muscle memory. <laughs> But yeah, GG Wonal. I guess I'll go for Turkey Vader. I'll go for the Latif Wall Glide right there. I don't know. Whatever tricks I can find. Gonna do the lofty spin at the start. Go for the deep crash, I would. What? Oh my god, I just wanted the butterflies. Get out of here. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. Well, that's unfortunate. The place I had initially learned it was here, I think? Okay. And I've seen people going for it on another corner, and I guess I don't know where exactly to be for that. But I'll figure that out in a second here. Turkey Vader is one of those things where, like, it's hard right up until it's not. Just be right here in the middle. And it's just ignoring me. And I'm getting hit a bunch. No, stop following me. No. Okay, well, I guess I'm waiting for that one. Just right in the middle here. I'm trying to go for two hit turkey now. I mean, from over here, I can understand it. Where am I supposed to stand for this? Is it here, maybe? Because, yeah, I know the turkeys start angling up, so maybe I was just too far to the right. Boo toaster, thank you. If we can get just a bunch of boo toasters in chat, I'd really appreciate it. That's it, okay. Get off of me. <laughs> Let's go. We did Blue Sparks Turkey. See, the Boo Toasters really helped me out. Give me... I don't even need health. What am I doing? Favorite magic stare. Let's go. Boo Pepsi. Go for this wall glide that I've never done RTA. Ah. I'm pretty sure I did that wall glide in the TAS. And I'm not doing anything here, because screw that. Oh, I should have gone for um, the, the jump at the start of the level. I forgot about that. Okay, now we get to have fun over in Alpine. Gonna do Fish Ladder. Um, not a good one that I know of. 
There's what I did in the TAS. Um, but that's not... That's not good. It only saves, like, a couple of seconds, and it requires taking damage, and it's incredibly difficult. So yeah, there's not, there's not a real one. Hey, CFG. Oh, CFG, um... Phoenix sent me a clip. Uh... <laughs> beautiful flop. I'll just get it real quick. Um... Related to the nasty wall glide. It's not a full thing, it's just I thought you might uh, might find it interesting. Nice. Almost, almost. Also, Phoenix said, um... When I, when I showed him your clip of getting the full thing. He had no idea that that was possible remotely. He hadn't seen anyone going for it. Also, yeah, if anybody hasn't seen this before, any of my regular viewers who are not regular Vortex viewers, this wall glide is bizarre and hilarious. You need to, like, catch it really far left. There's a seam over here you can start getting a wall glide on. And if you don't hit that, then you just don't get any height. Almost, almost. <laughs> I'm also trying to set it up stupid fast for no reason. Let's just take a second. Hmm. Maybe I should be aiming a little further to the left and start turning just a tad sooner? Nope. Because those ones where I'm catching the seam and flopping, I'm holding right the whole time. It's not like I'm starting to turn back into the wall and flopping. So I need to already be pointed a little bit further to the... That was an interesting bonk. Oh. Ooh. <coughs> Almost. Anyway, I want to get in there. <laughs> It's not too hard once you know where to aim. How so, Tex? <laughs> Damn it. Also, for all of the smart and intelligent Vortex runners here who keep up with strats, uh, any advice for bowling? <laughs> I have been really struggling with that one, and I don't feel like I should be. Pray, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the... God damn it. The Nasty's Homeworld Wall Glide is not useful for anything. It's just a big goof. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that, yes. I mean, calling this a speedrun is kind of a stretch. <laughs> That was so far to the right. I'll get it, I'll get it. No worries. Almost, almost there. Ah. We can still sub one, I believe in us. I still believe in us. Even if I don't know how to jump. It's a fun fact about me. I managed to get the Vortex World Record at some point, and I've never jumped before. Happens or it doesn't. Yeah. I worry because that's been my strategy for a lot of tricks. Just get some sense of intuition for it. And that's not actually a good way to learn anything. Ooh, nope. Like, it's fine when all of the tricks are wall glides or damage boosts where you can just kind of learn a technique and apply it everywhere. But for weirder things like bowling or biscuit, I, I need to actually learn a setup. But <laughs> I'm not in any of those discords. I retweeted the link to the Vortex discord, but I, I did not join it. I don't know, it's also not a huge deal. Again, it's not like I'm coming back to Vortex or anything. I'm just doing this for fun. Oh, that's true, I am in that one, yeah. I'm also not in the Spyro Discord. <laughs> I left that a while ago. <laughs> I got I got grumpy at certain people and didn't really want to go back. You got this, Pepsi. Three-fourths of the way of his hitbox, slightly left to center. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's also something that I have really not tried studying much, so I should really do that if I... if I care about, uh, improving. Ah! <laughs> That's a good idea, DZ. Oh my god. I'll get this. I'll get it. It's fine. I'd also at some point really like to get the other Alpine Skip RTA, which I have not really tried, but I think would be cool. I'm just clowning around at this point. Like, most of these attempts I haven't been thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going for it. And that's not helpful. That's not a way to get tricks, that's just a way to mess around. Oh my god. This is such a bad try. <laughs> Oof. We're fine, we're fine. That's not gonna work. That's so far to the right. Hold on. <sighs> okay, enough goofing. Gonna actually make attempts. Gonna stop taking less than a second to set it up. Ah. 
I also need a better jump there. I was super far back on the platform when the jump came out. Ooh, almost, almost. <laughs> Dang it. Almost again. What about with two flops? Has this been made with two flops? I did notice if you get it, you can like really get up there, so I'm not surprised. Like once you actually catch this wall, you really, really get it. Oh my god. <laughs> what an attempt. Guys, I don't think we're gonna sub hour, I'm gonna be honest. It's getting a little tough for that. Reminder, I already did most of Nasty's world, but even so. Um, no, I think you're good, DZ. <laughs> I'll also probably be playing more after I do this, so... <laughs> I don't know for sure what all I'm going to do tonight, um, but I'll probably be streaming for a while. Oh, man. The other day, when I did this for the first time, it only took me like 20 tries. <laughs> And I mean, you guys saw when I got here, I almost got it pretty quickly. Yeah, I think I... No, I think I just need to be aiming further left again. I think I'm starting to point myself too far right. In an attempt of bad early over-optimization. My brain is like, no, you gotta do better and just go straight onto the wall. And I'm like, no brain, stop it. You're wrong. We'll get it, though. We'll get it. Oop, I... I don't know why I did an extra jump there. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I think I need to aim slightly further left and uh, start, <laughs> that's not right, and start turning earlier. I didn't mean to say aim actually going down the left side of the wall, but... You'd recommend aiming for the right, really, really. Because I thought I needed to be catching the seam further left. Really? Interesting, interesting. Where do you guys aim then? Because this is basically what I was doing when I got it the other day. About one spiral away from the scene. You mean that seam, the one that's like dead ahead of me? So I want to aim, like, right about there. Okay. Okay. That was more than one spiral away, but okay. Because, like, this seems way too far to the right. It feels like to catch it here, I would need a much better hop than I usually get. I almost had it there, actually. That was it.
Because that was the thing I noticed when I... Damn it. <laughs> when I started aiming further left is, uh... I didn't feel like I needed a great hop to get up high enough. Needed to hold right more. Or I don't know, maybe I would have flopped anyway, who knows. Almost, almost. Almost! I don't know if you, how long you've been here, Composer, but I almost had it one of my first attempts getting into the level. Or maybe not one of my first, maybe like attempt 10 to 20, somewhere in there. I almost got it. And then I just started screwing around and got a lot worse at it. God. Come on, come on. No. <laughs> almost, almost. I'm surprised I got the uh, Twilight Harper strat faster than this. Although I guess I do just have a lot more experience with that one also. That was very far left again. I overcorrected right at the last moment. Nope. What what thing golf did you finish? Did you finish the thing? Did you do a different thing? Did you get some ice cream? Is that the thing? Ah, almost. You finished the thing. The one race or all the races? I know you were on one race that was going to be a long one, but I also know you were close to finishing all of the races, so I... Oh, is this it? Please. Ah, rats. <laughs> all of the races. Nice. Good job, Golf. <laughs> good jump, good jump. We'll get it. We are so close to it. I know we'll get it. <laughs> that was really far left again. Tax level one. Let's go. So many level ones tonight. So many people. All the people. So many people. Oh, I forget if I told you, Tex, but I like your emotes. <laughs> ah, almost. Not quite. <sighs> I need to... When I catch it, I need to tap right just slightly after catching it. Or else I flop again. And, and in my brain, I was like, you need to tap right, and I just went left. Yeah. Ah. The first time I did it the other day, I definitely could have done it with a flop. I know I got way more than enough height. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, he... Went just a little too aggressive on that. Just a little longer. I need to get better about assuming that I'm going to get the trick and doing the right inputs if I do. Because on a lot of these attempts, I'm so focused on whether or not I'm catching the seam that, uh, that I'm not thinking about what to do right after. And that's a really good way to fail a bunch of perfectly good attempts. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> For a lot of reasons. And again, <laughs> I saw that I caught it and my first instinct was to tap left. again. That's just a really bad jump going into it. morning. <laughs> Shoot. It's always just such a little gut punch when, uh, when you don't even get a jump. <laughs> I've felt that way about other similar tricks in the past, where there's a really hard trick with an easy first step and failing the first step just hurts. second flop. I would have made it with one on that one. <laughs> I went too left early again. What am I doing? Why am I wiggling around? <laughs> I keep trying to like correct my position while already charging to it and that's not good. <laughs> That's not a way to do this.
Oh, nope, not enough. I would have been surprised if I got that, but figured I should at least try to carry it out and see what happens. No, again, right on the edge. Yeah, I think I keep expecting the wall to end sooner, is my problem. I I think I just need to be more familiar with the wall. Tap right at the very end, yeah. And I mean, I guess I just need to be more familiar with the wall is kind of generic advice for every wall glide in the game and not terribly helpful to actually say. But I, I do think that's just a big part of it right here. There it is. We got it. Like I said, easy trick. First try every time. Nice. Now I'm gonna go do every magic stare in high caves. Not giving up until I get all of them. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's go, there's only one hard one left. That's an easy one. This is the hard one. We got it! Okay. No! <laughs> that was another easy one, what the hell? I went so high on that. <laughs> Whoops. What line? I wasn't paying attention to what I did. I think I did what I always do. Okay, I know this is an all the tricks run, but I have a wizard peak strat that I do in these runs instead of the normal one that I like more. It's only a few seconds slower, but oh my god, I love doing this. Nope. Uh, yeah, we should be fine. That's my favorite way to do Wizard Peak in these runs. Because, <laughs> I mean, really the point of this is, uh... Is to try to do strats that people don't normally do, so... I'm fine with doing a couple of slower things. Wait, is that what Saboom does? <laughs> That was terrible timing. Yeah, so was that. That was better. I'm not sure I've ever actually watched Saboom's run. I did, DZ. It took a while, but I did. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do Superman. And I don't know, Golf. I've never tried to get really, really good, um, oh my god, Tuco, you're my hero. I've never tried to get really, really good wall glides doing that. Okay, guys, I said all the tricks, let's go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> if I get it in five days, I will be amazed. Yeah, honestly. I will give one try at the task strat, but with absolutely no expectation of actually getting it. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about how to trigger the mama to try to slap me, because, I mean, I did get it eventually when I was trying it the other day. It's something like that. I get, like, I need to wait for the mama to start the slap, and then I need to start the charge. There it is. All those strats. There we go. <laughs> oh, I can mention the, uh, the thing about the Shemp portal entrance. So yeah, notice how I'm aiming to a little bit of the right of the portal, and then like there I curve in. And at that point, the camera is just right there to zoom in. That's how I do that. Also, this may take a few tries. It's been a while since I've, I've thought about this. I always forget if I'm too far left, or if I need to go more left, or if I'm waiting too long, or... <laughs> that I went way too fast there. That's too far left for sure. That is also way too far left. There it is. The further right I am, the less I need to wait. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh hey, I need to put in the code again soon. Let's see if I can finish the run without putting in the code again. Nope. <laughs> oh, I forgot I have Ice Cavern left, actually. No, I probably can't. I guess we'll see. There it is. Oh, heck, we did it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> and reminder, we already did Nasty's World, so we just uh, we just need to go beat the Nork.
Very nice. Oops. Get back here, nasty. I know. It, I'm I'm deeply ashamed. Never gonna live this down. Guys, I have a really bad idea. And oh I shouldn't have oh whatever, it doesn't matter. Um But yeah. Yeah. Uh, no promises that this is going to finish. My PS2's battery, what? Why? <laughs> I would worry about it more, but I have like four PS2s. <laughs> Very good start. <laughs> oh, that's right, I'm supposed to be getting some of these gems. It's been a while. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try. I don't want to be up ridiculously late, so if I'm stuck on Sproder for like an hour, I might just stop. But we'll see. We'll see how far I get. I have no idea how many gems I need. I want to say it's 400 for Zephyr and 400 for Shady? That sounds right. Oh, I need to change the uh, category on Twitch. Almost, almost. Oh wait, there's another beetle I can try on, I forgot. Well, not like that. I'm actually surprised that I've even gotten three proxies with the beetles, even if they're not good ones. Yeah, that was really bad. Um, beetle? Excuse me? Beetles just going right up to walls. I'm doing a Vortali Animas, or at least trying to. I finished Vortex in like an hour 15. Ugh, almost, almost. That, oh, that beetle ruined me. Sub 2, let's go. That's all I can ask for. There it is.
composer leveled up. Nice. <laughs> I know, right, DC? This isn't the right way. Colossus is over here. I was supposed to do Colossus first. I forgot. It's Colossus, then idle. Then I jump out of bounds. Right. I've played Spyro 2 before. I'm not bothering with the skip for this guy. I fail that every time. Wait, where am I going? This isn't Hundo. Sorry, Muzz, I'll stop trying to show off. Age. This isn't an age problem. This is an I never tried to learn 14 talent. I was supposed to get a bunch of gems in this level. I forgot. There's a whole ton right at the, the hockey rink. It's fine. I'll catch up. It's fine. But yeah, really, I just, I never made an effort to learn this. <laughs> almost, almost. Almost, almost. Come on. Ah. I'll take it! No, I won't take it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I also just haven't really played Spyro 2 in a while. Where am I going? Hurricose. Hurricose. Let's see if I can remember this. I know it's not like a complicated trick, but I'm really bad at this. Oh, nice. Uh, there we go. Nice. Thank you. Doing that first try is not a guarantee for me. Oh, Muzz. Oh, you're gonna be waiting for so long. Had to pick up that one gem next to the sunny beach portal. That one gem is going to make all the difference. <clears throat> it will. Uh, one more. Uh, I'm gonna try to do Sproder, and we'll see what happens, is what I'm saying right now. I, I might just quit in the middle of this. We don't know. Starting too far back, I think? Need to be a little further past this corner. Yeah, that's closer. At least it looks closer, I don't know. I am very much in the same boat with 14 Tally as I am with 3 Any. 
We're like, yeah, I've learned all these tricks once. <laughs> or I shouldn't say learned. I've done all these tricks once. Learning something and doing something once are two very different things. Nope, don't. That's not good. That's... Yeah, that's totally wrong. Oh, no! You've watched all the runs at some point. Yeah, you're good. Muzz, wouldn't you love to do a 14 tally run so you can be ahead of me on a Spyro leaderboard? <laughs> I mean, unless you're also going for Sproder, I'd be surprised. You would need to get literally last place. Oh, that sounds fun. That'll be good to watch. 30th is a Saturday, right? <laughs> oh, God. Right, yes. Honestly, Golf, I did not remember what date the tournament was on. I just know it's next Saturday. Imagine knowing numbers. I knew which weekend uh, you were coming, but it's not like I'd learn weekends by what their days are. <laughs> it's just a number of weekends out to me. That's not going to be a thing? That's fine. More movie time. Oh my god. Almost, almost. It's all the way up to five? I remember when you had told me that three had resigned. <laughs> oh. No! No! <laughs> no! I should have just taken it. Oh, I thought I was going to be high enough. <laughs> oh well. Why can't those baby turtles teach me how to swim? Oh! Okay, there we go. We're good now. Can I just like... Yes, yes I can. Nice. Easy game! Now for the other fun one. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna need that. Could actually use these two. Although I'm actually already... No, I'm doing fine on gems. I don't need any more. Because Zephyr's only 400, and I know you can get plenty of gems between Zephyr and Shady. So I'm, I'm good on gems. What? Where was my flame? Oh, gosh. Just gonna get these all out of the way. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's not how to do sheep. So way too close to the sheep when the flame came out. That should have been good. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, okay, better this time. That was also way too close to the sheep. Yeah, she'd be furious. No. <laughs> I'm so bad at this jump. I'm also just bad at double jumping sometimes, I guess. I don't know. It, it really has been a while since I've played Spyro 2. I shouldn't be too hard on myself. Sir. Okay, now I think I'm just a little bit too far from the sheep. It's okay, once we're out of here, the rest of the run should go pretty good up until Sproder. Because I'm not doing Satyrless, because I don't really know how to. I've never learned that. That is too big brain for me. Uh, yeah, that was too close again. Um, and everything else is pretty straightforward, normal strats. There are other 14 tally strats that I would like to learn at some point. Like, I'd like to learn Camel, for instance. Or, um... Gosh, what's another one? There it is.
balloon proxy. Which I've heard is not that hard, I just need to learn it. Okay, rest of the run should be pretty easy. I'd also like to learn the faster crush uh, strat at some point. I don't know that I'm going to be doing it in runs anytime soon, but it'd be nice to know. I have no idea what the normal level order is in uh, in Autumn Plains. I'm gonna guess Crystal, Zephyr, Scalos, Breeze? That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Should I also just throw Bone Dance in there? Yeah, I can do a quick bone dance in the middle of this Fortelli, any, sure. Yeah, that was not a very good jump. Much better. That was actually really good. I, um, I don't really have any good dance ones, I don't think. Okay, here's another thing I'm really bad at. Luckily this one... I mean, I guess I'm not really, really bad at it. I'm just much worse than I should be considering how many times I've run Hundo. Miss. 
Hey, that was too close, buddy. Ah. I was hoping to flame charge to get that other basket, but whatever. Because I know those are both tens. God, just get these out of here, please. That was a very bad spit. There we go. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I got that. Damn it. So, let's get this while we're here. Sorry to say, Gulf, this is ostensibly a 14 tally run. Feet bone dance. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Shoutouts to Tuber. <laughs>
I really don't need to be picking up more gems. I have so many more than I need. <laughs> Considering I only need 400 and I'm... What? Oh, I got turned around. I only need 400 and I have two levels left. Two levels where I need to go through basically the whole level. Or no, one level, what am I saying? One level where I need to go through a bunch of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing more than fine on gems. rug How's it going? I noticed something the other day. I was watching a casual Spyro 2 player and I noticed um the satyrs here all have the name Sater? Like that's all the text box says. You can't charge jump that, can you? You probably can, I just messed it up. There's a whirlwind here, right? Yes, yes there is. Anyway, the satyrs here all just have the name Sater, which is weird, because I think every other NPC in the game when you talk to them has a unique name. Even like the little, the little dudes in Crystal Glacier, when you free them, have their own names. I am doing pretty good. I'm doing a big meme of a Spyro run right now. <laughs> They're just clones. That's got to be it, yeah. I also love the dancing pigs in this level. They are one of my favorite NPCs in anything. Are not NPCs, but you know what I mean favorite uh, characters, I don't know. What a day to be alive. But yeah, basically right now, I'm running three Spyro categories back to back to back. Uh, the first one... Oh, and I'm also doing tricks that are far above my skill level. Um, the first category should have taken me like 25 minutes maybe, and it took me an hour and 15 minutes. This category it should take me like maybe 40 minutes, and it's probably going to take me closer to... I don't know, it's really hard to say. There's a trick at the end of it that's going to take me a while. There's one trick at the end that I probably shouldn't be doing that might take me like an hour. <laughs> we'll see. We'll just get to see. There are two enemies you need to get. I thought it was one. Well, I thought that came down. Zoe, don't zap me. Don't zap me. Don't. Oh, yeah. Dang it, Zoe. <laughs> um, I have done each of these categories separately before. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing all of them together. It's a, a, um, there's another leaderboard for doing all of them together. It's the three Spyro categories that basically follow the rule of, or follow the goal of just get to the end of every level. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Because, like, Spyro's a big, you know, collect-a-thon game, and most of the categories involve collecting a bunch of things. 
But these are the categories that really do not need that at all. What am I doing? I need to go up here. I mean, most of the categories I am fine at, or not most of the categories, most of, like, the runs themselves, I, I'm fine at. Um, it's more that there are a handful of tricks in each one that I'm doing that I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> one of the categories, the one for Spyro 1, I actually used to have world record in, and I am pretty good at it, I think. I just... In this run, I was doing a bunch of things that people don't normally do in runs. And for good reason, some of them took me 10 or 20 minutes. Come on, get up there. Get up there! <laughs> But yeah, if you stick around for a few minutes, you'll you'll see where uh, where I kind of fall apart in this one. We'll see. We'll see. The trick I'm coming up to, though, really is going to be the hardest part of this whole set. If I can do that, I'll be able to get to the end of it, no problem. But first, we need to fight this boss. Oh! Oh, dang. I aimed wrong. If you're quick about it, you can hit him with the barrels multiple times. What a shot! Whee! <laughs> Where are you, Gulp? No! Hey! Oh, crud. Oh, man. No, and I just totally whiffed on that. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Only gonna get single hits. This is gonna be a great single hit gulp. Fastest in the West. Bomb. Chicken. Rocket. 
I can manage with this. There we go. I mean, Gulp isn't that bad. I'm just messing up. I'm not playing very well. It's almost like, for some reason, I don't care that much about how this boss goes. I'm pretty sure at the end of the day, Gulp is not going to make a huge impact on the quality of this Vortaliani. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty rough. I think I finally come up with a way to... Okay, one more relatively easy thing, and then we get to do the hard part. I jumped so soon. Yeah, I'll take that, sure. Also, real quick. Yeah, that, okay. That whirlwind is always there. That was something I was thinking about the other day. For some reason, I had a memory as a child of that whirlwind only spawning in once you had already gone to the top of the, uh, the level. But no, apparently it's just always there. And childhood memories lie. There we go. Okay, now for the fun part. Now for the part where we might be here for like an hour. Maybe more. Oh my god, <laughs> these stairs are not hard to climb. An hour that is just fun the entire time, isn't that great? So basically, we need to get to the other side of that door, but we can't do that. So instead, oh that was a really bad try. Instead, we're gonna go all the way around this wall. <laughs> It'll take me a bit to get in the rhythm of it again. That's too low. Have a good night, golf. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's probably for the best. If you wait until I get this, you'll be going to bed way too late. <laughs> Oops walked off the ledge there, nice. Nope, too low, too low.
in my opinion, the hardest part of this is just getting around this first corner. If you can get, like, onto that first pillar, the rest of it isn't that bad. Ah. But, I mean, when I say onto the first pillar, I mean onto the first pillar without losing height at that point, which is difficult. I'm sure I'll get back in the habit of it soon, though. I've done this a few times since my 14 tally PB, and I usually get back in the habit of it in less than an hour. So, like, I won't be surprised if this takes more than an hour. I will be surprised if it takes more than, like, two hours. Ooh, that was better. That was better. Still not good, but it's better. Um, I am going to enter a level here in a second. Uh, not quite. Um, and that is just to reset my respawn point, so that when I fail this I won't have to go over this wall every time. Almost, almost. I, even if I had gotten onto the last pillar, I need to be a lot higher than that. Almost. Oh, that was that was closer. Dang. See, we're we're already starting to get in the habit for it again. There's a nice penguin.
was bad. <laughs> Level one, let's go. GG. Ooh, getting closer, getting closer. Oh, it's just like a chat interaction leaderboard. This is just a silly thing I added a while ago. I keep meaning to make my own bot to get rid of it, because the devs of that bot are kind of jerks. But I have been very lazy and have never done that. Close, close again. Golf, can you convert that experience into minutes watched? <laughs> or I guess I should say minutes actively chatted. I feel like it's safe to assume uniform randomness. Yes, yeah, it's a few minutes. Ah, oh, close, close. Yeah, almost 750 hours, but also the bot goes down sometimes, and also, I mean, my stream existed before, <laughs> before I added the bot. That's not going to work. Yes. So yeah, it incentivizes sticking around, but not spamming. There was a period of time where Xella was one of the highest people on my chat leaderboard. 
And the way he did that was just once every ten minutes he would post some random emote in my chat. can catch up. <laughs> what a proxy. I mean, it would be easy to set up right up until I ban it. I have a good night, Ghostly. No, I can't ban it. I ban Muzgrub if it came down to it. No, I don't think I could manage that. I'm pretty sure I would try to ban Muzgrub, and I would get a message like, the following user has a controlling share in your channel, or something. Okay, I guess I wouldn't have to ban you, but I could just, like, time you out for a thousand hours. I mean, if you were saying something somewhat frequently anyway, I wouldn't care. But if the bot is just around... Did you ban Musgrub? <laughs> Have a good night, golf. Losing all my viewers to the deep allure of sleep. Gosh dang. Well, losing some of them anyway. <laughs>
We'll get it. We'll get it. I'm, I'm getting better, clearly. I am getting further on them. The fact that I'm getting to the last pillar again makes me happy. And my issue is the flop plane. Test. Oh no. It's begun. No, that's not gonna work. That was just you? Sure. Sure. <laughs> That was a really good first couple of jumps. <sighs> Close again. No idea. I did make a Twitch chat bot once, and it has been long enough that I I don't remember anything about it. Good luck, CFG. I believe the second half is, uh, is the hard part. Not going for that shit? What? Oh my god. Bamboozled. Already enough bots out there? Fair. That is cool that you hit it, though. I want to say that makes you the fourth person? I think the fourth person. Test two, oh my god. Uh huh. It's really nice feeling some degree of certainty that I will get all of these tricks eventually. Because that has not always been the case.
Ooh, dang. I think it's Korean. Amazing. Classic walking off a ledge strats. That was an interesting charge jump. That was a better start. If I could have gotten onto the pillar, that would have been a very, very good start. In terms of the height I was getting, at least. Almost, almost. Ella. I'm getting so many end community people tonight. <laughs> Um, I'm doing, it's called a Vortali Any run. Basically, there's, it's the three categories in the first three Spyro games that effectively have the goal of get to the end of every level. It's Vortex and Spyro 1, 14 Tally and Spyro 2, and Spyro 3 Any Percent. 
just all back to back to back. And I already did Vortex, and this is 14 tally. And I'm doing it where I'm going for tricks well above my skill level. <laughs> so it's taking me much longer than it should. If you're pretty good at all three categories, Vortaliani would take you like an hour and a half. And it's probably gonna take me like three and a half to four hours. Uh, no, I think the bot leaves when I go offline. I know the timers... Like, the, the user timer um, is still active until it runs out. People do level up well, like after I've gone offline every once in a while. But yeah, the bot, I'm pretty sure, leaves the channel once I go offline. Uh, no, golf's actually happened online. That didn't end up being an offline one. Oh my god. You can tell how awake and alert I am by how good I am at climbing those stairs. <laughs> oh my god, please. Nope. I shouldn't have taken that, I should have just turned around. I always forget how to do this. Ah. There is a proxy you can do with those head bash chests. But it's kind of a weird one. Okay, sure. Uh, no, you're gonna ding in like six minutes. Right? Wait, you're... God, how does math even work? You're 33 off. It's about 4.5 per minute. I don't know. Math is hard. <laughs> close. I only had to be like another spyro height up or so, I think. At least to get over the flop plane. Probably had to be like two or three spyro heights up to actually get the, uh, the trick. Uh, I don't know. That's just the sound people make for leveling up, yeah. Has been for as long as I've known the bot. No, 
No, yeah, it's four to five per minute. too low. Oh, almost made it over the flop plane that time. We're getting closer. I don't know how clear it is viewing this, but at least I'm feeling like I am improving as I'm going at this. Nope, that's not gonna work. <laughs> a single difference? Yeah. I'm sure I'll get it eventually. I, I was fully expecting this to take the longest part of anything I do tonight, so... It's not like it's a surprise that I'm still here. Oh, come on, man. Have a good one, Excel. Thanks for stopping by. Dang. Might have been close on that attempt, but no.
There's the V-Rug Ding. Oh. Yo. I mean, yes, but that's not the point. I'm playing this to have fun, and this is the dumb thing that I want to do for fun right now. Close. Close. There's also another skip I could do that, uh, that I just don't want to. That is much, much easier, but, uh, but this is what I have my brain set on. I think I'll probably give it about 30 more minutes, and if I still haven't got it, I'm just gonna stop. Because I don't want to be up too late tonight. I was up hanging out with a friend until 4 a.m. last night, and I don't want to do that again and get my brain into the habit of thinking, yeah, 4 a.m. is when you should be going to bed. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm getting I'm getting closer at it. Yeah, it was with a um an old college friend who moved to to Japan. Um so it was just like mid afternoon for him. But yeah, it was pretty late for me. No, I shouldn't have taken that. <laughs>
Uh, nope, no luck involved. It's just hard. Yeah, that is a nice thing about the Spyro games. There's very, very little luck in speedrunning these. There are a few points of it, but for the most part, it's uh, it's just skill-based. Yeah, I mean, there's Tuco, but <laughs> other than that. There's Tuco, and the time Sparks takes to eat fodder is random. Uh, the way gems land and bounce is a little random, but for the most part. Oh, I guess rat. Yeah, fodder movement. That is rough. No, I shouldn't turn around. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Tuco do be like that. Yeah, a lot of the issue, uh, well, some of the issue has to do with my movement on the wall itself, like how left or right I'm going, which is or isn't giving me height, but also a lot of the issue is just the rhythm of my button presses is wrong, and so I'm just failing a lot of these two trying to glide too early and not being able to. Which just ruins the movement entirely. I... Uh, no, that's not gonna work. So yeah, there, there are a few factors to it that I have to keep in mind. That's also not gonna work. Honestly, I feel the same. Uh, NV2 is, I think, the game that taught me how to be good at games. More than any other. Although it was also the first, like, game community I really tried joining, so... Hard to say how much of it was the game and how much of it was just me talking to people about a game. <laughs> V2 has fun glitches. Oh my god. 
thing. Yeah, N++ has has a bunch of glitches too. Not the same ones, but there there are a bunch in it. I don't think plus plus has teleport tiles. I don't believe it does. Or, I don't know. I haven't looked into plus plus mapping in a long time. I shouldn't speak on that. Ah. But yeah, yeah, there there is a lot that is the same. Thank you, Muzz. Almost, almost. No, it's really helpful, Moz. We do really need that in the community. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. That's not high enough, but we're getting a lot closer. First one over the flop plane. Let's go. Oh my god, and then I'm falling all the way down the stairs. No, oh, almost, almost. Stairs are the hardest part of the trick, they really are, yeah. There's actually another faster way to get this, an even faster and even harder way to do this. Um, you know how I've done that trick where I've charged into a penguin and gotten launched in the air? Well, you can do it with that penguin down there and go high enough to go all the way over this wall. And it is ridiculous. I don't... I don't know if anyone's done that RTA before. I think someone did. It's mostly just used in a task, though. Oh, is it two? I really haven't looked into... Sparrow 2 history as much. I'm gonna guess 
Tuval, and Wally. Or no, wait, what am I saying? Retro, surely. <laughs> surely Retro was one of them. If anybody. Really, Tuval and Wally, huh. Surprised Retro hasn't done it. Or I don't know, maybe he has and people just don't talk about him rightfully so. Almost, almost. That was a really good first half. Uh, yeah, that's retro. <laughs> Retro is also the one who, at one point, hacked into one of the Leaderboards mods SRC account and nuked the leaderboard. Yeah. Yeah, Retro sucks. Legitimately very good Spyro 2 player, and also a huge loser and sucks. One of those kinds of people. What? Oh, heck. I thought I was further forward. Yeah, I mean, yeah. To be honest, that is a little bit of why I enjoy running Reboot. Having a small community is just, in a lot of ways, much, much nicer than a large one. But I mean, that's, I don't know, that's a thing, right? Like, it feels weird to talk about the Spyro community, because what, what does that even mean? There are so many runners, very different people, very different groups of people, many different cliques. It's not even a bad thing that there are multiple cliques within a community, that's just how people group together. You can't expect everyone in a community to get along. Which is a big part of the reason why I've just stayed out of the Spyro speedrunning discord since I left it. I have the people that I get along with. I have ways to contact them. That's all that matters. Are we hit on SRT? No. I mean... Not even talking about that. There are times... I don't know, some people just have really different values, I guess is how I would put it. that make me just 
not want to be parts of a community as a whole. Because the Spyro community is not the first one that I've basically left. I also do not really interact with the end community anymore. Outside of speedrunning, which is a very small part of the larger end community. But like I said, the way to deal with it is just find the people that you like and get along with. Don't waste your time talking to the others. That's also why I'm just not interested in being a mod for anything big anymore. Getting over the flop plane more and more, though, that's nice. Like, I'm happy to do leaderboard moderation for, like, N, because we have, like, three runners or whatever actively at any time. But I... God, I did not want to stay a Spyro mod. <laughs> I, I did not need that. It's a pretty decent community, Manly. You're not wrong. This is not high enough. God. After all this time, I finally failed this jump. It's not going to work. I think this is too low, too. Yep. <sighs> we'll get it.
You go for it, Rug. Ah, bad penguin. Bad penguin positioning. Uh, please. Oh, heck. Spyro 3 any percent takes me about 40 minutes. So I'll give this trick 20 more minutes. And at that point... At that point, uh... If I haven't gotten it yet, I would have to be up well past 4 to finish this. So 20 more minutes and then I'll stop. Ooh, um, oh, just barely not there. If I had head bash, I would have gotten it. Uh, do I want to enter Dragon Shores to get head bash? <laughs> I think I can get it without. I 
I say completely failing to do the most basic of jumps.
Yeah. I'm just getting tired. Both, like, because it's like 3 a.m. and also because I've been doing this for more than an hour. Without really taking a moment to stop. doing penguin proxy no not even gonna try Good menuing. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There we go! We got it! Let's go, we're gonna finish the freaking run. TK! The timing! The timing on that raid! I forgot to hit gulp. Thank you for the raid, TK. I'm doing a Vortali any run, and I just got Sproder into Ripto after well over an hour of attempts. Hello, Sly Swooper. How was your stream, TK? Were you doing more Vortex learning, or were you doing Bash or something else? Nice final hit. More for today, nice. Hey, Lucia. Oh my god. I need a second. Hey, bagel. And thank you, Muzz, for the hundred bits. Bagel, is that is it that I am bad? Because yeah, I kind of figured. I just took like an hour and a half to do uh, to do Sproder. Big stretch. Oh my god. <sighs> you beat my just egg time. Let's freaking go. Congratulations. The most prestigious category. Very proud of you. 3357, that's not bad when you're when you're starting out, especially if you're not already familiar with Spyro. I mean I actually remember to change my game this time. <laughs> Forgot to do that before. Yeah, it's funny how hard just egg is. You would think, like, oh, just don't collect the gems, you'll be fine. But no, that's... There are places where that's not easy to do. <sighs> oh my god. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I thought I was gonna get stuck and just stop. I'm really surprised I'm finishing this.
good. Oh boy. This is gonna go real well. <laughs> I, um... I'm not going to go for every trick until I hit it like I was in Vortex. I'm just gonna finish this. Oh my god. No! I'm bad at that. I'm very bad. I really wasn't expecting to hit that. <laughs> yeah. You just become a gem magnet all of a sudden. That's unfortunate. And all of the time that I have been practicing and de-resting any percent, doing the actual whirlwind bypass to get on the wall has been tough, but I have not failed that swim and air a single time until now. Oh well. I'm gonna chalk it up to being very tired. <laughs> And still a little running on the high of getting Sproder into Ripto. <laughs> One level just in time before the gem got collected. Nice. That <laughs> that's hilarious. But <laughs> good movement. Real good movement, toaster. <laughs> To learn, I need to learn uh, these. I don't know what to call them. Shell proxies. Not because I need them or anything. It's not like I'm enough of a Spyro three runner that it matters. I just really want to learn how to do them. I get tiny ones every once in a while, but I don't know what I need to be doing different to. Uh, or doing at all. I don't really know what to aim for. I just kind of go for it. <sighs> but yeah, I'm 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 very happy that you're running just egg. I'm going to tell my sister who invented the category <laughs> that someone else has been running it. I'm sure that will make her happy. I'm not gonna go for every trick, but I do want to do this one until I get it. I know I can get this one fairly quickly. Just this method of entering Molten. There we go. Very nice. That's a fun, fun wall glide. That's not gonna... Really? Well, that surprises me. I wasn't holding charge immediately. Yeah. That... That really surprised me. I absolutely did not think I was gonna get that. Oh, 
I just want to be clear, I'm not good at that proxy. Even setting it up, it usually takes me 10 or 15 tries to get it once. I would comment on how difficult S3 is, but I don't think I'm good enough at it to, <laughs> to say. I've never really taken a Spyro 3 category seriously, I've just done fun runs of them a few times. I've done enough 117 runs to know where things are, but like... It's not like I've ever practiced or anything. Or not practiced, 117 anyway. I've done enough any percent practice to get a handful of these tricks down. Like, I've kind of learned the timing for a bunch of proxies, but I haven't, you know, I haven't done it enough to learn consistency with, like, any of them. It's just a fun game to do one-off runs of sometimes for me. Not good. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell as I was doing it. Ah. Anything that's not S1 is difficult? True. Although, funny enough, I'm probably gonna do 3 any faster than I did Vortex. That's also not good enough. My Vortex time in this run was like an hour and 15 minutes. There we go. <laughs> okay. But it was good. I did all the things. I did TH task strats. I did biscuit blast. I did bowling. I did ladder. Fish ladder. I did uh, the treetops jump. Did dog proxy? I got all the way through Stone Hill without taking damage. I I was great. <laughs> what else did I do? I don't remember. It was mostly fish and yeah. I guess it was mostly fish and TH strats that took me a while. Biscuit only took me like four minutes. I got it really quickly, I was surprised. That's not normal for me. <laughs> I say normal as if I've done that a bunch of times. I think I've done Biscuit like maybe 10 times total. And one of those times took me like 50 minutes. Uh, bowling in Metalhead. And that one, yeah, that one took me a bit. That one took me. 10 or 15 minutes, maybe. Double Zoe! Yo, AJ. When I heard the Dang it. Wait, really? What? Stop. Ah, oh, Buzz. No. <laughs> Not okay. It's going all right. I'm doing a big meme right now. I'm doing a series of Spyro categories 
that if you're good would take less than 90 minutes, and it's looking like it's gonna take me a little over four hours. Maybe a little under four hours. Around four hours. Just because I'm going for a bunch of strats that I shouldn't be. Uh, no, don't leave. We're not going to the Sparks level. Yeah, I, I... I feel kind of the same way, Lucia. Like, I've always thought in my head, 3 any and 14 tally would be so good. Because I am I love Vortex, so I should just do those two. Okay. And then I start playing them, and I just don't want to practice anything. <laughs> and I think the issue... Dang it. The issue is really that, um... So much of why I got good at Vortex to begin with came from... Damn it. Came from me playing the game a ton to find a bunch of the strats to begin with. Dang it. Um, whereas 3 any and 14 tally, in a sense, are kind of mostly figured out. So it's not like I can be finding anything by practicing. Practice is only going to be there for the sake of improving, not for the sake of me just having fun playing the game, I guess, is how I feel. I don't know. Yeah, AJ, this is Vortex followed by 14 Talisman followed by 3 any percent. Vortali any. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> there we go. With Spyro 200%? Gosh, I need a little bit of that too. I'd really like to get sub 150 in S2 Hundo. I know I can. Maybe even 145, but playing on PS1 and ending my run on Bone Dance makes that hard. <laughs> Sub six? That's not bad. I want to say when one named Lucas did a speed run of it, it took him, I don't know, seven or eight hours or something, so. Yeah, six isn't bad. Muzz. Slash ban Muzz Grub. <laughs> it's not an okay thing to say to me. I should make FDS a banned term in my chat. <laughs> I say that, I used FDS earlier. <laughs> I was doing that for most of this run. Just because I had my PS2 plugged in anyway. It's okay, Muzz, I'll let it go this time. That's a proxy I'd like to get good at. It It looks like an easier one. I just don't know any proxies. Haha. -ha. <sighs> but yeah, two hundo's a lot of fun. Like once you once you really start getting into it. One thing I've found it's a really good category for not having splits. Uh just because when you're still fairly new, the boss rush segment can have so much variance to it.
Like, it's so demoralizing to come out of the first 20 minutes of the run and already be, like, three minutes behind PB or whatever. Even though you know you can still PB by a lot with that, because that is a relatively small segment of what you can improve on in the game. I'm so bad at that proxy. People make it look so easy, and I have no idea how. That's fine. I didn't want to take a hit there, but whatever. Gimme. <laughs> you just ignore the splits? That's... that's not a bad way to do it. Yeah, I mean, here's what I would recommend. A game that I've been running a lot recently, it's a game that only I and Muzgrub have done runs of, it's called Reboot. Because almost no one has run it, and I have the world record already, but I still want to improve, uh, I don't have a goal set for what kind of time I think I should be getting. Instead, my goal right now is I want to finish 100 runs. And I think that's a good kind of goal to start with for Spyro 2. Not necessarily 100 runs, because that's kind of a lot. But just try to make yourself finish a bunch of runs. Just have that be the end goal. Finish 10 or 15 runs or whatever. And then at that point, reevaluate and, uh... And start using splits, I guess. Sorry, Muzz. I'm a liar. Almost, almost. Because, yeah, I think that's the thing. When your goal is something like... Oh, come on. Where was my glide? <laughs> when your goal is something like, you know, beat X time or whatever, it's really easy to get into the reset trap. But if you're goal is to finish runs instead, you just end up in a much healthier place mentally. <laughs> Live Split even has the finished runs component to add, so you get you still get to see the satisfaction of number go up. I shouldn't be going for this. I should just do the level and go to bed. <laughs> I'll give this three more tries. Classic. Oh, uh, headphone warning. These are loud. game and in, uh... Dragon Shores. I forgot what Dragon Shores was called for a second. <laughs> yeah, and I think, uh, I think your goal is good in that way, Muzz. Sorry, I read DS and my brain immediately thought, DS, Dino Mines. <laughs> and, like, that's not right. And then for some reason I thought Donald Shores, but that's also not right. <laughs> Ow, my freaking ears. God, imagine if you got 100% in Spyro 2 and it's just like, congratulations, here's Dino Mines. That's low. It's not low, I got a first try. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Honestly, this is going shockingly well considering how tired I was coming into this. Oh, 
How's my helmet? We'll see. It's actually better since, um... Since I learned the easier backup for uh, not getting quite enough height. I don't know, Lucia. I have so much trouble getting onto the wall. It's dumb. I mean, like, I know by the shape of the wall why that's the case, but... Like, in terms of karma? No, I don't know. It's dumb. Come on, bird. Drop a thing. Drop a thing right on me. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. What's the level order I'm supposed to do again? People told me I was doing the wrong thing when I did that Vortaliani relay the other day. Damn it. Because I do Fireworks, Lost Fleet, Charmed Ridge, Bentley, then Frozen. I think they were doing Bentley, Frozen, Fireworks, Lost Fleet, then Charmed? That sounds right. I'll go for that. <clears throat> Wait, you don't need to get on the wall, though. In, uh... I mean, I guess if you want to be good, you need to get on the wall. But if you want to be really, really good, you don't. <laughs> Just learn Sproder, SMH. In fact, if you want to be really good, way better than anybody else I have seen, anybody that has ever run the game, uh, don't go to Dragon Shores at all. Well, no, it's definitely Charmed after Lost Fleet. It's the first levels, uh, the order I was doing wrong, apparently. Just get Tass RNG. <laughs> No, I think it's Bentley. I think it's what I said is right. It's Bentley, Frozen, Fireworks, Lost Fleet, then Charmed Ridge. It's literally free. You don't even have to do anything. You just need to wait and it happens. Look at that blue face. That blue baboon face. I just jumped off a cliff. <laughs> oh, camera, no. Camera, please. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Vrugtail is back. Let's go. Let's see if I can get all these gems before they land. Almost. Get out of here, Bartholomew. Hello, Nura. This is Vortalieni. This is World Record Proxy. <laughs> Woo! Um, this is Vortalieni. It's Spyro 1 Vortex, Spyro 2 14 Talisman, Spyro 3 Any Percent. And I am almost done with it. <clears throat> you did not manage to make a bot, I gathered. Actually, it's funny, this does have... <laughs> I said at the beginning I wasn't gonna go for a bunch of tricks, but this has almost all of the tricks that I know how to do. Like, I did end up doing Boar Proxy. I got Rhinoc Proxy in Sunny Villa, even though it was on the last Rhinoc. <laughs> oh, no, you did not want to see the whole thing, Nora. More than an hour of this was trying to do one trick in Spyro 2. <laughs> Foobar, Rug, hey! <laughs> that sounds like bot talk. I also need to learn Mammoth Proxy here, because I don't think it's hard, I just don't really know the setup for it. Is 
that. It should be high enough. Let me just face the right way. That's not right. <laughs> I'm not supposed to flame that. Nice. You got me, big guy. Also, this is the best song in the trilogy. I love this song so much. Beautiful wall glide. I also love Tom Kenny's voices for these penguins. These are great. Thanks for helping out, Spiral. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Love that voice. Love Jana. And if Eliza were here, I would go do cat hockey to get the uh, the sheep dragon. Same, Muzz. <laughs> they better be. They really better be. Okay, now let's just get first try Firefly. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. No. Ah. It's fine. We can do some boom jumps here. You broke the page. Good job. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Yeah, no, not quite. That was a bad jump on my part. It's almost like I'm not much of a Spyro 3 player. There it is. They're fun jumps. Aha. It looks like hey. Oh heck, I should switch controllers actually. This controller doesn't vibrate. Hold on, let's see if I can do it quick during a load. Ah, uh, where's the other end of this? <laughs> I'm not fast enough. Where is the controller port? <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I was using just like a normal PS1 controller that does not vibrate. And so I just plugged in a, uh, a DS2. I should also learn the Lost Fleet skips, because they also don't really look that hard. I just never really tried to learn them. Nice. Nice. Crazy Ed. Yo, Craig. Where's Bagel? There we go, that got it. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna plug in my other controller again. I don't want this one. Oh heck, that was such a fast load. Sorry, it also doesn't help that my uh, my PS2 isn't very close to me. How many lives do I have? Oh right, I can't pause. I probably have enough lives. 
That's probably fine. Three lives. I'm fine. First thing, I'm just gonna jump off a cliff, because I don't remember what I need to do to get rid of zombie. I think I could just go to flame the last cat wizard, and that would be enough. But, I don't know. I'm not a Spyro 3 runner. I don't know this stuff. Well, no, I mean, I don't know what to do other than jump off a cliff. I know that's one way to do it. Ah, crap. Let me, uh, let me grab these. Let me just proxy up this ladder. <laughs> it's fine. I'll give these wizards one more try, uh, and if I don't get them, I'll just go through the level normal. This is a good song. This Spyro 3 has a really good soundtrack. I love Spyro 1 to death, but Spyro 3 has a really good soundtrack. <laughs> hey, now. good. Surprisingly hard to enter some text, really. Frog! I didn't need that, I just wanted it. <laughs> Watch out, everybody. The sorceress has had enough. We're in trouble now. In fact, I might go so far as to say that this could be our last stand, Spyro. Ooh, look at that. More reds! Oh my god, Bentley. My hero. Nope. Heck. More reds, though. Bentley going all out for us right now. Oops. More reds! Oh my god! I would need a really good helmet here. I won't rule it out, but, uh, no. <laughs> no. I don't know, we'll see. Really? I, um, I don't think I turned on FDS for this run. There it goes. Okay. I guess it must have been left on from the last one. 
That's weird. When I went from Spyro 1 to Spyro 2, it had turned off FDS. Spyro. So I'm surprised it hasn't for this. I wanted to get one of those lizards. Swag thief. I love getting that quick thief. It's just fun. Okay. Wait. R2, not L2. Is it L2? Wait, shit. Hold on. <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing? Have I ever played this game before? It is L2. It, it's totally L2. <laughs> Sub 4 pace? Well, we have helmet here, so no. On the first one, but not subsequent ones? What? What model PS2 do you have? The one I'm using right now is a 75k. Okay. Do you not know how to check, or is your label, like, rubbed away? Also, this is another one of my favorite songs in this game. I love this one. Lucia leveled up. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I don't know then. 39k? That's, uh, that's still a fat model, right? I think they went to Slims in the 50s? I don't remember. I'm not an expert on PS2 models. They aren't that old. You don't know that, Muzz. Remember in the 1980s when the NES came out and people were like, what is this shit? The PS2's been out for like 30 years. There we go. Okay. I still don't think sub 4 is going to happen. <laughs> gonna be honest. I don't see myself beating the sorceress in two minutes. Kinda suck at this fight. I can, however, finish before 4 a.m. <laughs> Real happy about that. Surprised those three hit. I sprotered, I can do anything. I did sprotter into Ripto, didn't I? It's gonna drop right here, I believe. Yep. Saw it flying in there. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That, uh, uh oh. coming in over here. Get back here, sorceress. Get back here, sock one. Oh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> well, that's the best I've ever done that fight. <laughs> like, by miles. Yeah, Muzz, there is. It's on the category extensions page. There's no reason this should have been sub 4. <laughs> this was so bad. Hey guys, remember when I did bone dance in the middle of this just for fun? Just because Golf asked me to? Remember when 14 tally took me nearly two hours? You're right, Manly, I did it. I did it because Sub 4 was free. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again. I'm happy I did that. That's a run to cross off my list. I've been reluctant to try this because I wanted to get back into practice with Sproder and Eripto, but I'm happy with this. I'm happy to just have done it. No, I'm, I'm not doing this again. I just wanted to do it once. Or at least not until I'm, like, actually good at 14 tally and 3 any, which who knows if I'll ever be. how it works. I think it's just, uh, yeah, once timing would end for the first run, you can just turn on the next game. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I usually wait a little bit because I'm not competitive and I like to take a moment to breathe, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. to me to raid. I might just do Critter Vision. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. No, I'll raid Guitar. They are doing some Spyro 1. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of debate about how things should or could work. Anyway, have a good night everybody, thanks for hanging out through this.